Yeah, so the crazy people in this building are suddenly really agitated. Um, the heat in here is up to 80 something degrees. Um, it's 5 p.m., 4.45 p.m. on Thursday, March 3rd. And somebody has been coming and going throughout the night and the early morning and just now in unit 88 which is next door to this one and it's supposed to be empty um there's not anybody renting that unit right now but somebody has been staying in there and making really loud groaning and grunting and moaning noises on the other side of the wall of 88 with this unit and i know this because my bureau where i sit to return emails and you know eat and just hang out is right on the other side of that wall and I can hear somebody in there making all kinds of grunting and groaning noises. Um, earlier today when I had my phone alarm going off on the bureau right next to the wall of 88, somebody in 88 started smacking the wall um, right on the other side of my bureau. And initially um, I thought it was coming from downstairs and it wasn't because it happened again, it was coming from 88. And there's a little piece of yellow notification paper that I've been sticking in the crack of the door of 88. Uh, management put it there like two weeks ago and nobody lives there so it's still there but an hour ago somebody pulled it out of the crack and messed it up um, and now the heat in here has suddenly skyrocketed and the resident of 78 whose uh, bathroom <laughs> shares a wall with my kitchen area has been really agitated in her bathroom over the last 20 to 25 minutes because I started covering things up in my bathroom um, I have to do this periodically because somehow somebody keeps getting in there when I'm not home and presumably putting stuff in my bathroom that I really wouldn't want them to put in there, such as audio bugs or things that allow her to have knowledge of what I do in my bathroom. So I started removing items and then covering the walls up with new sheets in my bathroom as she was getting really agitated um, on the other side of the wall that her bathroom shares with mine. And now there's nonstop like marijuana fumes or cigar fumes coming from the bathroom of 78. And the heat in this unit has suddenly skyrocketed over the last 35 minutes. So it went from being pretty much off throughout the afternoon, um, aside from at, you know, 1.30 p.m. when I went to my bathroom. But it went down after that and now it's back up again. So it is super hot in here. It's well over 80 degrees and I have window open 10 inches and the air conditioner is cranking so something very very strange is going on and i believe it has everything to do with the psychopath cyber criminal sex offender in unit 78 who has friends in the sex offending community apparently in this building notably the former resident of 88 and she's been letting him into that unit she's very good at picking locks or she has managed to finagle keys from wherever they're kept in the office she used to hang out in the office with some guy named Eddie who used to work in the office so she and Eddie were best friends and you know Eddie could have given her a key to whatever unit she wanted so um, yeah I, I think that she is way friendly with some of the management or used to be and they gave her keys to various units um, and that's how she's able to get in so she's been letting in her sex offender friend who used to live in unit 88 and was moved like two floors down he's been back in there and the noises he's been making um, over the last few days are exactly the same kind of noises he used to make when he lived in Unit 88. So, yeah.